Hey everybody, I'm Tim, and this winter, we got some serious shrinkage. And you're watching Cigars Daily. Get more out of this and all our videos when you watch them on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you'll find extra content and coupon codes and more. And for this video, I'm smoking the Alec Bradley Black Market Punk, which is another shrinkage cigar, another small cigar in the lineup for this episode that I want to take you guys through some stuff, shorter stuff to smoke when it's a little cold outside, maybe a little too cold to sit out and enjoy the full size blend. Well, we all know what happens when it gets cold outside things get a little shorter. In fact, your smoking time seems to tighten up a little bit as you're trying to figure out how to enjoy a premium cigar, but at the same time, like, it's just too damn cold. And I know it's like there's a huge variation in this around the country, and some places if you go outside, your, like, breath freezes in your whiskers as you stand on your porch. In other places, like here in Arizona, hell, you could go outside with any pants on and you wouldn't be uncomfortable. Dude, why aren't you wearing any pants? Why are you filming it? The truth is, as we look at cigars in the winter, there's just some concessions you gotta make, like I said, depending on where you live. The great news is, today, so many cigar makers actually put their like main blends, their most popular stuff, into these smaller Vitolas, these smaller sizes that allow you to take the same amazing flavor profile of the full-size blend down to a shorter, maybe 20, 30-minute experience. This is really helpful, like I said, if it's too cold, Cold, or if the only time you're going to get to have a cigar is maybe on your commute to or from work or during a quick smoke break. It's sort of something that's versatile all year around, but especially relevant right now when you're going to be freezing your balls off. And so today I'm going to take you through some small blends, actually big blends that have been pared down to smaller sizes and even introduce something brand new that just hit the market that I'm actually really, really excited about. So I'll ask you guys this up front, drop a comment down below when you downsize for a shorter smoke and you're still looking for that full premium flavor where do you go which brand do you look to and which blend are you lighting up and with no further ado let's jump right in now, in this video, I'm certainly going to show you some cigars that fit really well into the cigarillo category. You know, really like a cigar that's basically the size of a cigarette, just without the cigarette, which is good news. Now, with a lot of these, they're a little bit bigger than a cigarillo, so you'd call them cigarillo or just a small cigar. And the first one I'm going to tell you about certainly fits in that category, and that's Camacho with their Machitos. You see, Camacho, like a lot of brands, has taken their full size, like the Connecticut and the Corojo here, and pared them down into these four inch by 32 ring gauge blends that are a quick about 20 minute smoke. This is something that's amazing because Camacho has just absolutely nailed the Corojo leaf. That's the Corojo leaf over there. They've nailed it with the Corojo leaf. They're like the original masters of Corojo leaf, and now they're so popular today and distributed by Davidoff Cigars by the way, that being able to get their cigars in a smaller size during the winter makes it a little easier when things are just too damn cold outside. And while we're on the topic of Davidoff made cigars, there's also the Davidoff Primeros. These ones are special because, well, they say Davidoff on them and they're made with Davidoff leaf. It's like a very special thing and they also price in like a Davidoff. They're four and an eighth by 32 cigars, so they're still very small, but they also clock in right around five, between five and six bucks a stick. So pretty expensive as Davidoffs tend to be, but there's incredible quality with these cigars. Davidoff is known as one of the most high-end and trusted luxury brands in the cigar industry. And again, this is a cigar you're gonna smoke in about 15 to 20 minutes, which is sort of the perfect amount of time to be outside, enjoy a little bit of flavor, yell at the dog to stop eating the yellow snow, and head back into the warmth. And now let's get into the cigar that I'm smoking during this video, and that's Alec Bradley's Black Market Punk. These things I like a lot because unlike the Machitos from Camacho and the Davidoff Primeros, these are a little bit closer to a normal sized cigar, which for me, cigar in size is just kind of a weird thing. Like I don't like Lanceros because they're too long and thin and cigarillos just feel too much like a cigarette. And it's just like, I like a, like a cigar. I want to feel like I'm smoking a cigar. These are four and a half by 42, which 
to me makes them feel sort of like a shorter Corona. And that's not a bad thing at all. Corona size cigars actually, to me, have some of the best flavor. The Alec Bradley Black Market Punk is actually based on the most popular cigar that Alec Bradley currently makes. So you can get a wildly amazing blend, all of the flavor of the Black Market reduced down into this short cigar that you're going to be able to smoke in about 30 minutes. It's the perfect amount of time to sit outside in the cold, smoke something, look at the icicles coming off your porch, and think about who you would stab with them for the perfect crime. Because they melt, right? Like I saw this whole episode of like true crime where someone did this. He stabbed him with an icicle. I don't know. It seems like maybe they've worked their way around figuring out who would do a thing like that these days. But gosh, it just seems like the perfect crime. Now, of course, if you're looking for something with a little more flavor and infusion in it, there are cigar makers that have got your back too. And I'm talking about CAO right now with the CAO Flavors Cigarillos. There's cigars, these flavors typically come in a Corona size, which is like, you know, like a 45 to 50 minute smoke, but they've pared that flavor down even more into these four inch by 30 ring cigarillos that come in all of their very famous flavors like Moon Trance here, which is a flavor I, I have a hard time even to describing Bella Vanilla and then which is you know like vanilla and gold honey these cigars right here have got some of the truest flavor that you'll find especially in a small cigarillo and so while you're out there trying to shave all the ice off your windshield with a credit card for some reason why haven't you prepared for the summer you live somewhere very cold stop using your credit card get one of those scraper things I would imagine that that would be much easier but you can at least do it while you're enjoying something that you like and then get in that nice warmed up car and head off to work and then, of course, there's one brand that does an outstanding job of paring down that full flavor from a full-size cigar into a smaller Vitola, and that's Drew Estate. They also do an amazing job with infusion, and of course, you can find Drew Estate's whole like acid line in smaller cigars with the acid crush. They've got a red Cameroon. These are the blue Connecticut ones. And they're like actually some pretty realistic acid flavor. And again, with infusions, it's easier to do because you're adding flavor to a cigar. So you could really add flavor to a cigar of any size. Also, the Deadwood Baby Janes here give you that same sort of aromatic, almost pipe tobacco leaf with a little sweetness added to the cap. Again, in a very small size here. I think these are about four by 32. One of my big complaints about cigarillos is everything I'm doing in this video, they don't write the size of the cigars on the packaging. This drives me nuts. Anyway, Drew Estate does a good job with the flavors here, just as they do with the Undercrown series, a non-infused series of cigars where they've taken their premium blend and actually pared down the leaves to give you a really realistic view of that, again, full-size Undercrown flavor in a very small Vitola. I've actually done another video on the channel where I smoked sort of side-by-side -side some of the big sizes and smaller sizes to see what they had to offer. And I'm, I'm always impressed with how well Drew Estate does it. It's all the flavor of the large size cigars, just in a quicker 15 or 20 minute smoke. So like if you're, you know, consciously not fighting with your wife because it's too cold to even storm out of the house, you still have a really good cigar that you can step out and enjoy these in about 15 to 20 minutes. And then, of course, there's a small size blend that I've got massive excitement to tell you about. And quite frankly, it's the newest one on the market, but also the one that should have been out for like years now, for like ever now, this cigar should have been around, but they're, I guess they're finally getting around to it, which is a great thing. And that is the Oliva Serie V in small sizes. This one right here is called the Club size. It's a pack of 20 like legit cigarillos. These are three and seven eighths by 22 uh, little cigarillos that probably you're going to be able to smoke them in about 10 minutes. I mean, this is literally when people go out at work for a smoke break, you can step out with them, not actually smoke a cigarette and feel a lot better about your day. Also, they've got the Senorita size. These ones are four and an eighth by 31 uh, cigarillos or small cigars that come in a 10 pack. And these things, both of them actually I've been smoking through packs of these to see like how close do they land to that true Siri V flavor and even with the really small cigarillos I'm impressed at how well they do capturing a large cigar flavor profile in a short quick smoke and so as you somehow managed to have scored outdoor chores when nobody else has them during the winter you can shovel your driveway and enjoy all that real experience of the Oliva Siri V in 
a bit shorter on my time. So there you have it. As we're in the season of shrinkage, it's time to think about how you get a little bit more flavor out of a little bit less time. And I hope that the cigars I recommended in this video give you the opportunity to do that. And I'll ask you again to drop a comment. If you've got less time to smoke or it's colder outside, what do you turn to? How do you do it? Maybe you've got a cigar tent at home and you're still enjoying your Robustos and your Toros and your Churchills and all that kind of stuff too. I would love to hear from you guys more in the comments. And of course, check this video out on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.